Yeah, we just uh, released it. I think the FIBA team managers meeting is ongoing as we speak. Uh, they're uh, uh, checking all the names, checking all the passports and all the paperwork to make sure that uh, everyone is uh, eligible. I don't know if I'm uh, at liberty to divulge the names uh, at risk of preempting that because they have to check it first. So. Maybe we have to wait a little bit more. Ito na lang, Coach. A uh, few months left till the FIBA World Cup. What is your honest assessment of where the team is right now? Well, as you know, we, uh, we have uh, a few manpower issues uh, with uh, our bigs. Uh, Japet Aguilar is injured and Kai Soto has uh, decided not to play. So uh, that's, a, that's a big blow to our front line. Uh, and uh, the other bigs that we have in our depth chart, um, uh, hindi pwede, like Raymond Almazan, for example, because Meralco has games. Uh, Poi Eram himself is injured as well. So we're just uh, uh, making do with uh, the players that we have right now at our disposal. Uh, and that's why uh, Mason Amos is going to have a... We're giving Mason Amos a good look, uh, uh, as well as Kevin Kambao, because uh, they're the only uh, bigs that are left uh, in our lineup. The decimate talaga yung front line natin. Uh, but other than that, uh, in our other places, in our other positions and spots, we're pretty good. We're pretty solid. Players have been practicing very well, so we like our chances coming in. Uh, yun lang talaga. Meron lang talaga konting mga Mm, coach, a, a lot of people, a lot of Filipinos, of course, are very excited for this game. Last year, medyo naisahan tayo nitong Lebanon. But at the same time, yung game bukas, eh, secure na naman yung positions natin sa FIBA uh, World mm -hmm. Cup. Ay, anong mindset ng, ng team? Anong mindset nyo? Is there such a thing as a no-bearing game for you? Well, you know, you know that I had uh, gotten into a lot of trouble by, by saying that <laughs> in the past, right? <laughs> so I will not make that same mistake again. Um, uh, we're, we're preparing to really put our best foot forward. And uh, uh, the value for this is uh, we're, uh, uh, we want to see how the new guys will integrate uh, into our lineup as we go all out for the victory. Uh, we have uh, Justin Brownlee, Jordan Heading, uh, even Junmar Fajardo is going to be playing with this group uh, for the first time. Hmm. So, you know, there's, uh, there's a few key players that, uh, uh, that this couple of games will really give us a, a good chance to take a good hard look at. Hey, talk about that a bit. Brownlee, the Kraken. What do you see uh, them doing tomorrow? And what do you want to see them doing? Uh, well, see, uh, Justin, of course, we know his, uh, his capability. Uh, we just want to know how he's going to fit in with the, what we want to do as a team and how he's going to fit in with his other teammates. Because, of course, iba yung He's uh, with his uh, regular team, yung Hinebra. Um, kumbaga, magkakaamu yan na sila. Eh, diba? dito, dito natin makikita pa lang if they will be uh, as uh, cohesive as, as we want. So that, that's, that's one. That's, that's very crucial because we're looking at Justin to, to be our uh, naturalized pair in some other uh, international tournaments in the future. So malaking maga yun. And then... Siyempre, si Junmar, coming off his injury, he's been playing well in the PBA. But again, the FIBA game, the international game is very different from the pro game. Uh, we want to see also how he will play. Uh, this is the first time Junmar is going to play with uh, uh, Scotty Thompson, for example, and, and Dwight uh, Ramos. So those are those are the things that gusto natin makita. Um, and... Uh, uh, playing a game like this where we're playing quality, tough opposition uh, is, is really the best situation para makita natin uh, uh, for, for, for this group of guys to be tested. Hey coach, let's go to the other side. Um, Lebanon will be without Wael Arakji. What are your expectations for Lebanon and Jordan on Monday? <coughs> Well, Lebanon beat New Zealand even without Wael, Arakji, Saud, and Darwich, three mm -hmm. of their mainstays. And Saud and Darwich are playing. They're, they're both here. So, si Arakji ang wala. So, we have no illusions that this is going to be an easy game. The Lebanon is a very 
deep, high quality, well coached team. They know how to play the international game. They're very, very well versed. Uh, they have a lot of confidence. So uh, we we expect this to be a, a difficult top ball game uh, tomorrow. Jordan, on the other hand, is fighting for its life. Because they're not yet qualified. They still need, uh, I think, a win or two to to uh, formalize their entry into into the into the actual to the actual World Cup to qualify. So we know that they're going to come out uh, tooth and nail fighting for their lives. So we have to be prepared for for that as well. But yeah, like I said, we were expecting two really tough games, and uh, we're uh, I, I, as a coach, I relish this opportunity to come out and uh, and test our metal against two teams, uh, two real high quality teams.